of I mean, experimental studies, quite well controlled double blind studies of whether uh, third party prayer, praying for, in this case, victims of um, heart disease, would get better if they're prayed for. It's quite difficult to design a double blind trial to do this because the patients are not allowed to know they're being prayed for. Um, and the people who are doing the praying mustn't be allowed to know who they're praying for. And so um, they're not allowed to say that you're praying for John Smith. Um, you have to sort of disguise it a bit by saying you're praying for John S. And maybe a little bit of ambiguity about which John S. you're praying for and things like that. But anyway, what they did was to, was to divide the prayers up into, um, you know, there were, there were some patients who, who were being prayed for and others who were not. Um, you will not be surprised to learn that, that prayer had absolutely no effect whatever on, um, on recovery rate, except for one rather curious fact, which is they did another t trial in which the patients were allowed to know that they were being yeah. prayed for, and then they got worse. <laughs> the, the, I think the argument was they got worse because if they knew they were being prayed for, they felt they should be getting better, yeah, they had and the anxiety, anxiety yeah. uh, hurt yeah. them. Yes. Um, and it was funded by the, interestingly enough, by the Templeton Foundation, which of course was trying to prove exactly the opposite. Yes, that's right. <laughs>